Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am going to do a really lovely summery glow foundation routine. I have loved this ever since I first tried it. Um, the first key thing I use in this routine is using like a shimmering base to add with your foundation to illuminate your foundation and it just gives you an awesome glow. And I have the perfect foundation to go with it, which is Makeup Forever HD, the original. I can't wait to get the Ultra HD, but I'm still, I just recently got into the bandwagon of using the original HD foundation. So I love these two together. It gives you a lovely luminous glow and I'm oily as heck, but I love how this looks, especially when I get a little dewy. <laughs> kind of like sweating a little bit. I know it's gross, but it just makes my face look more, more, you know, glowy. And I'm like, yes, yes, I love it. Um, but um, I'll just show you the tips and tricks on how to have a really nice glowy routine without looking too overly sweaty. <laughs> so let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is just penciling my brows really quickly. I might just fast forward through this because you've seen my brow routine. Happy 4th of July, by the way. Um, what are you guys doing for 4th of July? I'm about to, like, after this tutorial, I'm going to, like, put hamburgers on the grill and get started because I'm having family over. And I'm just going to watch TV, eat some good food, talk. That's pretty much what I'm doing for today. But, um, yeah, I was debating whether to do a 4th of July makeup tutorial or just do, like, a glowy. You know what? This kind of does help for 4th of July. If you go into a barbecue and you want to look glowy, I think I would do that. So I would love a glowy routine. All right, brows are done. I'm going to go and apply my professional primer. Ooh, this has been used up like nobody's business. Also, I do, hmm, I'm kind of thinking, since I'm going through trying to, <laughs> can I not talk? I don't know. I, I'm just stumbling my words every five seconds. But, I was debating using a pore filler or a mattifying primer. And I was like, let me just use a pore filler. But since I'm so oily, I think mattifying will be better. But then I'm going to have huge pores. <laughs> I said I have huge pores. I have huge pores. So I have to help minimize that. I'm going to let that sink in. And I'm going to show you the few products I am going to combine together to have this look awesome. So I'm using Gleam by Melanie Mills. This is Body Radiance in Deep Gold. And I'm going to use Naked Forever HD Foundation. I'm going to bind these together and apply it to my face. And it just gives you an immediate healthy glow. So, hold on. So I'm pumping, whoop, so I'm going to pump two pumps on the back of my hand. Maybe that's too much, but hey, we're just going to run with it. Then I'm going to add a good amount of body radiance in my hand. So it's going to look like that. And I'm going to mix that together and I'm going to have a recipe of awesomeness. Oh my goodness. Alright. I'm just going to apply it directly with my finger. I need a mirror. Yeah, boy. There we go. I would use a beauty blender, but I was like, let me change it up. And use a brush instead. I'm going to use my Sedona Lace FB07. And I'm just going to blend downwards. So um, it looks like I'm rubbing really hard. 
but in all actuality I'm just moving in a fast motion that's why it looks like I'm pulling my face but I'm just dabbing really fast And as you can see instantly, my face has a glow to it. I could add more coverage if I wanted to, but I'm fine with a little bit of imperfection showing. But you have like overall luminosity and I absolutely love this. I'm going to apply some concealer. I'm using Pro Longwear Conceal. That will help me with the bags. I'm going to take a Morphe M436, a stippling, a mini stippling brush, and I'm just going to blend in my finger first and use brush. So I'm just dabbing. I'm going to take some of NC45. Actually, I'm going to add some orange here because I forgot to do that. Then I'm going to take NC45 and apply under here to give me some highlight. Then I apply NC45 to the places where I wanted highlighted, then put on top NW45. Okay, now really quickly I have to set underneath my eye to prevent so much creasing that I do have when I wear creams underneath my eye. So I'm um, so always I'm gonna go in with Ben Nye Topaz and set. I used to do the whole baking method, um, but I just don't do it anymore because it looks nice. Okay, it looks nice to bake and put powder pounds of powder right here and bake. But for me, I think because I'm so oily, it just starts to break and separate throughout the day. And it looks like clumps of powder on my face. I don't, mm -mm, mm -mm, I don't like it. So I just put a good amount and press it in. And call it a day. Because I can do this whole bacon. And I'll probably do it for a photo. If I don't have to wear it all day. But if I'm wearing makeup all day, I don't do baking anymore. And of course the forehead. I take a fluffy brush and blend it all out. I try not to add any more of the powder because then I'll just look like a matte face that I always usually go for so from here I would that it uh, from here then I will go and add my contour and my highlighter and even if I look super matte right now throughout the day when I do kind of you know start to get oily you could see that the base I used, the illuminator, and my oils will kind of more make my face more dewy. So I know that sounds kind of gross, but um, that's how I do my routine. Because if I start out a little bit matte, then throughout the day I will gain more luminosity. You know what I'm trying to say? Because if I really go and do my foundation without any, without powdering. Then I'll look glowy and nice and fine. But throughout the day I'll look worse. So if I do a little bit of powdering and have my base of luminosity, then throughout the day I'll look more glowy. You know what I mean? So that's how I do it. That's my trick on how I achieve a nice glow during the summer. Now I'm gonna pick up my MSF in <laughs> now I'm gonna pick up my MSF in deep dark and take a little bit of it and just add more coverage to my face. And that's it. 
I will go with the powder foundation, but I'm just not trying to make my face so matte. I'm just trying because such a habit to over powder because I'm so um, oily. Um, now for highlighter. Do so I want to go with? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna use some. I'm just applying a generous amount on my cheeks. Actually, my cheekbones up there and over here. Apply some on my nose, bridge of my nose, and the tip. So I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush and powder over paint pot. I do not want to make my lids too bright. I want it to kind of just stay my own skin tone. I'm just going to use the tiniest bit like that and really spread it out. So instead of using an eyeshadow, I'm going to use a blush that that's basically my skin tone and it just doesn't do anything for my cheeks, but it might just give my eyelids a nice glow without doing too much. So I'm going to take a loose fluffy brush because I don't want anything dense that will pack on too much of the pigment on my eyelid. I'm going to use Format Blush by MAC which is this bronzy sort of blush right here and just take a good amount and just fluff it on my lids and oh my goodness it's pretty nice. It just gives my eyes a sheen so just take a little bit and apply. So this is what I would pretty much go for as natural and not doing too much. I'm using shades. The trick to going with something natural but still getting the job done is going with shades that just match so well with your skin tone. Like usually I will go with Anastasia Beverly Hills um, uh, I forgot the shade, but it's a refill pan, and I used it for highlighting underneath my brows. But that gives you such a strong highlight, and I don't want anything standing out so much. So I will go back in with my MSF and highlight underneath my brows. So this highlighter gets the job done. It sets the cream I applied underneath here. And I almost forgot, let me go in and apply some blush. I think I'm going to go for Burnt Pepper. It's a blush that has some color to it. And that is my whole face. Now I'm going to move on to the lips. I'm going to apply Rukigan. This is a NARS lip pencil. It's actually a satin lip pencil. And I'm just going to apply a little. It's very pink. And it gives your lips a nice glossy feel. Without being too glossy. I'm going to go in and apply some mascara. I would usually go with some falsies. But I'm trying not to be too over the top glam. So using all nice lashes would be nice. And that's it for the makeup look. I hope you guys did enjoy. This is my summer routine, my foundation routine, and I hope it was really easy for you. So if you happen to like this video, be sure to thumbs it up, subscribe, and tell me what you would tweak about this look. If you happen to recreate it, be sure to tag me on Instagram, and I'll love to see it, and I'll tag you, and we could chat about makeup, and that's what I love to do. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video. Happy 4th of July, and have a great weekend. Bye.